We've seen in the past that a permanent magnet, like the one placed inside of this box, produces something called a magnetic field. And today I'm going to show you that a moving charge, say in something like a wire, also produces a magnetic field. So you can see here I have a compass, and the compass needle is pointing north, or what it thinks is magnetic north. Now if I take a wire and I hold that wire close to the compass, the compass doesn't change the direction which it's pointed. But if I was to do something like hook this wire up to a battery, when I plug in this battery and run a current through the wire, you'll see the compass moves. See, the compass will always try to align itself to the magnetic field in which it's been placed. And normally that compass is aligned with the Earth's magnetic field. It tells you, you know, which way is north. But when I run a current through this wire, the moving charge produces a magnetic field that's stronger than that of the Earth. And the compass aligns with the new magnetic field that's been created. You'll see, no matter how I turn this wire, the compass is always going to align with the wire. So to better understand what's going on here, let's take a look at a diagram showing the direction of the magnetic field which is produced around this current carrying wire. Now to determine the direction of the magnetic field around this wire, we're going to need to use something called the right hand rule. And that may sound familiar. In physics there's lots of different right hand rules. And you may have seen a right hand rule when dealing with cross products, say talking about torque or angular momentum. <clears throat> but this right hand rule is different. This rule relates the direction of the magnetic field to the direction of charge flow. So here's how it works. Imagine you were to grab this wire, like this, so that your thumb was pointed in the direction of current. Now, if you wrap your fingers around the wire, the direction your fingers curl, that's the direction of the magnetic field. Or to draw the magnetic field, it would look like this, a circular magnetic field traveling in one direction around the wire. So to better understand the magnetic field produced by a charge moving in a wire, let's back up to the magnetic field around a permanent magnet. The magnetic field produced by a permanent magnet starts at the north end of the magnet and runs all the way to the south end of the magnet. It has a start and a finish. But the magnetic field produced by a wire runs in a continuous circle around the wire. It doesn't start or finish anywhere. It's always going in a circle in a particular direction. And that's maybe a bit strange, but it's exactly what happens. So if I was to take a permanent magnet and a compass, and hold that compass close to the permanent magnet, you'll see that magnet is always pointed in the direction of the magnetic field, no matter where I place that magnet. If I was to do the same thing and hold a compass close to a current carrying wire, I would see the same thing. The compass would always be pointed in the direction of the magnetic field, which around a wire is in a circle. Now I know it's easy to look at the production of a magnetic field by a current carrying wire as some sort of useless physics voodoo, but I want you to realize that nearly everything you use on a daily basis utilizes this phenomenon. But I'm going to save the applications of electromagnetism for another video, and on that note, that's all for now.